All right, bud, here we go. Uh, practice film that mom sent me. I'm gonna watch it and try and uh, give you some suggestions uh, to, that you can try to do in practice and games. Okay, so here we go, first clip. This is you right there. I can always tell Miles because he's got his butt down, okay? So let's watch the play. Let's see what you do. You come off, you come off the line, Good engage, good, okay, good, okay. Swinging your arms like that, good engagement. You're pushing, pushing, and throws the ball. Okay, that's pretty good play. You know, good pass protection. Remember, in a pass play, you cannot go downfield. You have to stay behind the line of scrimmage, okay? So when I watch you do this, let's watch you. You engage. Don't go down don't go down the field. They'll throw a penalty on you for that if you get past the line of scrimmage. So just think of that. During a pass play, a lineman cannot be past the line of scrimmage. It's a penalty. So just, you know, all you're trying to do right here is protect the quarterback, right? It's not like a run play. Run play and pass plays are different. So good engagement, good block. He throws the ball. Good job. Okay, next play. All right, here we go. That's you, right? Mr. Butt down. Come off. Let's see what are you doing here. Good. Look at you. Good block. Okay, my first note. Here you go. See your feet? See how close together they are? Can you see that? You want your feet spread apart. Let's see. See how this guy's feet are? He's not blocking anybody, but you see how his feet are? You want your feet apart. So, cause that gives you a good base. And then you drive with your legs with your feet apart. Once you get your feet together like that, you're gonna be off balance and he's gonna be able to get rid of you. Okay, but overall good. And, so, and this is another thing. See how high you are? See how high your body is right here on this guy? See how high you are? And see how your legs are extended? You want to drop your butt down, spread your legs, and have your helmet in that guy's chest. You don't want to be this high. This Remember when I told you about leverage? That's leverage. You want to be low and have your helmet like where his arm is right here and be pushing him back. Okay? But your engagement off the line is good. Like you get right into him. That's really, really good. But then you come up and it looks like you're dancing. Don't dance. Keep your butt down. Keep your feet spread apart and knock him down. Because see, he's standing up too. He's doing the same thing you're doing. If your helmet is right here, you can just push him back and knock him down. Okay, next play. Here we go. All right, there you are. Okay, let's see what happens. Come off. Good. Good. Okay. See how your feet are apart right here? That's better. That's what you want. <clears throat> if you drop your butt down just a little bit more, you'll have the leverage. Because see how your shoulder pad is higher than his? That means he has the leverage on you. See how his arm is beneath your arm? That means he has the leverage on you. You want the opposite situation. You want your shoulder pad and your arm beneath his shoulder pads and arms so you can push him back with your legs. Don't try and block somebody with your arms and your chest. Block them with your legs. I know that sounds really weird, but all the power in your body comes from your legs, but drive, 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 okay? And then you're still on him really, really good. And then he starts to run away, but the play's already gone. Okay, good. <clears throat> Next play. Okay, let's see here. That's you, right there. Okay, let's see what you do. So, come off the ball. Good block. Okay, we're kind of kind of lose you through that guy. <clears throat> okay, not bad. Let's watch it again. Let's watch it again. Let me do this. So you come down. 
you come off, double team. Okay, now what you need to do, okay. So that's a double team block, okay? What you need to do, once you realize 30 is controlling him, which he is, uh, which I'm surprised about, you need to do what's called scrape. So you push him, scrape off of him, and then go pick up this guy right here, that guy. Go pick him up. So you help and then go pick him up. Wait, is that a pass play? Oh, it's a pass play. You shouldn't even be going downfield. You should just be protecting the quarterback. Okay, so forget what I said. You need to just don't go downfield, buddy. They're going to throw a penalty on you. Okay. All right, and then Barry gets the ball. Good job. All right, next play. First of all, you're engaging very, very good, okay? Really good engagement. You're, you're getting off the line. You're getting into your guy, okay? Okay, here we go. <coughs> let's, let's watch this one. That's you, okay? That's you right there. Coach is going to cross, get mom's shot. Okay, you're getting ready. Down. Where's it gonna happen? Down. Drop the butt down, okay. That's your thing, you do that. It's all right, it's not bad. Good, really good, really good. See how your feet are wide right there? Watch your feet. You come off, see how wide your feet are? That's how you should be, so watch. Your feet are wide, 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 right? Don't, okay, I don't know what this clip's gonna show me. But don't bring your feet together. Keep them apart. Keep them apart. And then drive with your legs, drive them back. Like push with your legs. Don't push with your arms. Push with your legs, drive with your legs, okay? So really good, you're in him. Now if, I'm telling you, if you, right about when you hit him here, Right there. If you start just running with your legs, he's going to go back. Okay? You come off. Good separation in your legs. Drive. Drive with your feet. Push him. Just start running. Push him with your legs. Chop, 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 chop. He's going to go back. Okay? All right. Next play. Here we go. All right. Here we go. There you are. You know what you look like. Here we go. Let's watch it. Okay, it's a handoff. Where did you go? I don't know. It's hard to see you. I'm going to move on to the next play. That's hard to see you in that one. All right, here we go. Next play. Here you are. You're right here. Let's watch what you do. Okay, good. Okay. Is that the runner? Is that the runner? Okay, he has the football. Okay, let's watch you again. Miles, if you know the play is going to go that way, 22 is going to get the ball, right? Handoff. <coughs> Once you know that he's past this big kid, don't stay blocking him. Run down there. Hit 81. It's called shedding your block, right? He, this, this big fat kid, he's not going to catch 22 anyway, okay? So hit him a little bit, bam, and then go, see this kid? Go hit him. Because if your guy gets around the edge going this way, this guy's going to make the tackle, right? But you could just leave that guy alone and go block him, all right? All right, next play. Here we go. Where are you? These coaches, man, they're always right in your mom's way. Okay, there you are, right here. Right by your coach's shorts, or whoever that guy is. Good job. Look at how much bigger this guy is than you. And look at you. Okay, see, this is what's happening. Because he's so big, you have to use your legs, right? And drive with your legs. So you're doing it there, okay? But don't give up. 
Don't give up on the block. Okay, here, watch again. Go back. There you are. You fire off good. No, no. You fire off good right here. Do not bring your feet together. See that right there? No, keep your feet spread apart. See this kid? Keep your feet apart like that. You want your feet wide. It's called a base. You want your feet to be a base so you can drive this big boy back, right? And the thing is, is that yeah, your guy got past him, but if you were driving him back, see, look right here. See how close your feet are together? Keep your feet wide apart, son. Keep your feet wide apart. It's going to help you, especially with bigger guys. That kid's so fat and slow, though, he's never going to catch that guy. So, whatever. All right, next one. Here we go. All right, you're behind the coach again. Man, I love these angles. Okay? All right, let's go back. Okay. Let's see. Good. Good. Using your legs. Good. Good. Oh, that's the same play. Okay. Let's go to this one. All right, let me go back. Here we go. There's you. All right, let's see what you do. You're going to drop your butt like you always do, like taking a poop in a forest. Boom. Okay. I love your, see your arms, how they come back and you just launch into the guy. Love that. Really, really good. Arms come back. And arms come back and boom, really good. Okay, now let's see what you do. Okay, again, see your feet. Keep your base wide, son. Keep your base wide. Okay. <coughs> next play, here we go. Okay, next play, here we go. There you are. All right. Come off the line, good engagement, good block. Okay, wait a minute. Here we go. Wait, what's going on here? Barrett took the ball that way. Okay. I thought you guys were running the play this way. Okay, but that's, okay, so that's good because your guy thinks the ball is going this way. And see how you, that's called a seal. You're sealing him from going this way. Whenever the, wherever the play is running, you want to create a, your body a seal like this. So you're essentially, you're putting your body between the guy you're blocking and where the ball's going. Now, of course the ball went over here, but it was a trick play. But you, this guy didn't realize it until too late, right? But if you know the play is going to go the other way. Oh, it's a reverse. Okay. So you, okay. So perfect. Okay. Let's go back and look at this again. Hang on. So the, you guys are getting super tricky. Okay. So Barrett gets the ball. There he goes. Now he's going to hand it off to another guy. You're doing a perfect job right here. Sealing. You're sealing this guy. You're sealing him because here comes the ball. Sealing him. Now he sees the ball. Now he's pushing against you, but you are doing a great block. Great block. Great block. Great block. Great block. Good job. Really, really well done. Good job. Keep your feet apart, though. Keep your feet apart. But that was a great block. Good job. Okay, here we go. Next play. This is you. Here we go. Let's see. See. Good engagement. Okay, wait. What happened here? Who is that? 30 again, dude. Whoever 30 is, look at this. Look at 30's guy. Gets right rid of him. Not good. Who's 29? 29 just totally worked 30. But let's get back to you, okay? You come off the ball. You hit your guy. Let's watch Miles here. You're still on your guy. Good. Butt down, feet apart. Butt down, feet apart. Butt down, feet apart and drive. Use your legs to drive him back. Chop, 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 drive him back. Still a good block. You still blocked him from the play. But don't give up on the block until the whistle blows. 
Oh, it's pass play. Okay, still good, still good, still good. All right, here we go. Next play. All right. Uh, there you are. That's you. Okay, let's watch. See what happens. Okay, watch yourself. Come off. You're running. Hit the linebacker. Good. Good. Okay. Are you dancing? Like, what are you guys doing? Don't hold him. Oh, wait a minute. What's this here? What is that? What is that right there? Are you holding him? Don't hold him. You'll get a penalty. Yeah, you can't hold him like that, bud. If you hold him like that, they could call a penalty on you. So it's okay. I think you're okay here. But once he starts trying to get away, you got to let him go. Okay. So let's go back. Okay. Let's watch the whole deal here. Okay. So you come off. You go to the linebacker. Good hit. Okay. Yeah. Feet apart. Feet apart and drive. And then you guys are kind of tangled up. But feet apart and drive. Okay? Feet apart and drive, buddy. That's the that's the overall note I'm seeing right now. Feet apart. Feet apart. Drive. Okay, next play. There you are. Okay. Oh boy. That that's a that's called a miss block, dude. It happens, so don't feel bad about it. It's practice why you practice, but you can't let that happen right here. That's no good. And the thing is, Miles, you should know that Barrett's getting the ball. And so you should step down towards the boy in the blue pants with your left foot to create a seal between yourself and the guy you're blocking, okay? So you go out, you engage him. You should swing your butt this way so he can't get past you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he beat you on that play. He beat you on that play. A lot of being a lineman, Miles, is technique and footwork. Knowing how to move your feet around. It's like almost like dancing. Like you engage, and then what you should do Right here, the moment you hit him, you should drop your butt and and put your body between this way and your guy. Because you know Barrett's going this way, right? Yeah, he got by you. If that was a pass, yeah. I mean, luckily Barrett's fast and that kid is slow. But he, he got by you on that one. Okay, next play. Let's go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Alright. Alright, where are you at? Are you on this play? Oh yeah, okay. Let's go back. Okay, there you are. That's your butt down boy. Here we go. Play's coming, a little motion. Good. Good. Okay. Look at this. See your feet? See your feet? Keep them like that. Don't bring them together. Keep your feet like that and drive him backwards. This is what you want to see. This, see, that's your base. That's your base right there. That's what you want to see right there. That wide stance engaging this guy. Really, that's good. That's what you want to see. Okay. The moment you do that, he wins, right? Still a good block. Still a good block. Oh, and here. Remember this. Remember this. Watch yourself. Okay. Watch Watch you. This guy comes off the block because he's chasing the ball, right? Don't chase him. Turn your head. Turn your head this way. You could block one of these guys in the white jerseys. Or hit this big fat kid. Knock him down. Don't just chase the football, son. Knock somebody down. Knock somebody down. That's why you're there. Okay, next play. All right. Okay, here you go. Getting ready for the play. Okay, 
Mr. Butt Down. We all know who that is, this guy right here. Good engagement. You're really engaging well off the ball. Don't, what? Five yard penalty holding number 84 right there. You held him. If you get beat, bud, you can't hold him. And he beat you. He beat you to the inside gap. Again, if you know the ball is going this way, Miles, you have to hit him and then slide. Slide your ass. Move that booty. Move that rucker booty this way. Swing your body to get in between this guy and the ball because right now he's shooting the gap and he's getting by you. See that? And then you're holding him. Listen, it happens to even the pros, okay? These guys get holding penalties all the time, so don't feel bad about it. And you're going to get beat sometimes. I mean, that's just the way it is. It's football. If you want every play, they want to be a game. But just know you got to move your feet around and swing yourself in posi into position so you're, you know, you're keeping yourself between where the ball is going and the guy you're blocking. Okay, next play. Is this... Oh, you're on defense, I think. That's you right there. Let's watch this. See what happens here. Okay, now you're on defense. Different things on defense than offense. Okay, so we're watching you. We're watching you. We're watching you. It's taking forever. I probably should have clipped this a little better. Okay, where are you? You're right here. Okay. All right. The worst thing you can do on defense <coughs> is what you're doing right now. One thing I do like seeing, see how your legs are driving? That's good. You're driving him. You're trying to drive him back. Okay, wait a minute here. This is slow motion, so let's see this. Okay, you're engaging. Good. Now, okay, you're using your eyes. I see you looking. Good. You're using your eyes. And look at this. You're using your hands. See how you see where the football is and you immediately start using your hands to get him off of you and push him off of you? And now you're out in space to make the play. That was good. That was good. Now, I think it was a trick play that made you think it was going to... Oh, no. Okay. He was going to go this way, but he saw you waiting. See? One. Watch one. Watch one here. He gets the ball. And he's going to go this way, but he sees you. He's like, nope, I'm going this way because that guy's going to tackle me. So really good job. Okay, so let's go back and watch this again. Defense, the most important things are your eyes and your hands. Getting the guy off you so you can go make the play. Okay? So watch yourself. You come off the ball. You engage the guy. You're looking. See? Right here. You're looking for the ball. I can see your eyes. You're looking back here. You're like, where's the ball? Then you see the ball, you're like, oh, he's going this way. You use your hands and arms to throw him off of you. See this? Watch it. You do it. Bam. Now, what you can do, this is a this is like a little trick. Take your right arm and push that guy away. Push this guy off of you. And then take your left arm and throw him away from you, right? Get him off of you. Use your hands and arms. Push him off of you. And then he goes the other way. Really good job. That's good defense, buddy. That's really good. Okay. Next play. Now you're... Oh, you're still on defense. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's watch. Here you are. You're right there. Coming off. Whoa. Nice job. Wow. Okay, let's go back and look at this. Really great. Okay. So you come off the ball. Come off the ball. Get pen. Okay. You shed your block right away. See how you see how you went beside this guy and kind of used your ar arms to whip through him. Watch your arm. Your left arm. You're, going, you're kind of doing this thing where you get under him. It's called swim move. And now you see him, right? And he sees you. He's like, oh, shit. Okay. So, okay. 
really good plate. When you get to about right here, you need to break down. You need to drop your ass and widen your feet so he can't like get around you. And then you just, cause right here, see you almost, it's, it's called overextending. You almost overextended on the play and he almost got by you, but because you got a hold of him, he didn't. But when a guy's like about right here, drop your ass and launch your shoulder into him. But really, really good. Nice play. You, I mean, you tackle him for a loss. Great. Great, 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 great job. Great job. Okay, now you're back on offense. Let's watch this. Here's you. Oh, let me get the play queued up. Okay, here's you. Let's see here. Let's watch. Coming off the ball. Good engagement. Why do these coaches always walk in the shot? Oh, here we go. See? Look at your feet. Look how close together they are. Widen your feet, buddy. Widen your feet. Yeah, and what are you doing? Are you just going to stand there and dance with the guy? Once you see your guy run past you, you've made this block. Run down. Hit somebody else. <coughs> Yeah, it's like you're dancing. Like, hey, bud, you want to dance with me? Once you make your block, which you did do really good, go down there and hit somebody. All right, next play. Here we go. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, you got to know the snap count, okay? You got to know when they're going to hike the ball. Watch everybody else but you. Off the ball. Then Miles is like, oh, I guess we're going. You got to know if it's on one, two, whatever, so you can launch, right? Like, look at how delayed you are in getting out of your stance. Okay, now you're going to hit your guy. Great. Driving your feet, good. Keep them apart, but that's good. And then once the ball's gone, dude, go hit somebody. Go hit somebody on the other team. Okay, here you are. Watch it. Let's watch you here. Seems like they're keeping you on coverage, so you're having to get the linebacker. Okay, good. Good. Okay, again, are you dancing with this guy? Miles, once you know the ball is past you, get off the block and go hit somebody else. Because see this guy right here? This guy could make the tackle down over here. But if you could shed your block and sprint... You might be able to block that guy and get your team a touchdown. So don't just think about your own guy. Once you know he's he's not going to make the play, go find another guy to hit, dude. Go find somebody. You should be knocking guys down. All right, next play. Here you are. Coming off the ball. Really good engagement. Keep your feet apart. Keep your butt down. You stand up. You stand up. Don't stand up. Butt down drive. You should when you hit him, you should be about right here. Like looking like that. Not like this. Look look at your feet. Look at your feet. You put him back out, which is good. But you've lost all your leverage, bud, because you're standing up. Stay low. Stay low. Put your helmet into his chest. Okay, here's a perfect example. See right here? See how his helmet is lower than your helmet? He has the leverage on you because you're just standing up straight. Butt down, helmet into the chest. Knock him down. Butt down, feet wide, helmet in chest. Just repeat that to yourself every time. Butt down, feet apart, helmet in chest. Butt down, feet apart, helmet in chest. That's going to help you. Okay, where are you at here? Let's go back. Okay, who, who are you blocking here? Who, who is that? That looks like a good player. Okay. So the guy you're on, see the guy you're trying to block? See how he has his arms extended on defense? <coughs> and he's trying to get you off of him? That's good. He's doing the right thing. But you stay with him. I mean, you do do a good block on him. 
Is I feel like that's one of the twins. I think I remember that kid's number. Butt down, feet apart, chest, helmet, and chest. Butt down, feet apart, helmet, and chest. Butt down, feet apart, helmet, and chest. Okay. All right, this video is getting long, so this is going to be probably my last play. Uh, no, it won't be. <coughs> I think this is going to be my last couple of plays here. All right, here we go. So you're on defense, okay? You got your butt down. You're Mr. Butt Down guy. Here we go. You come off the ball. Really good. You're driving your guy back. Shed the block. Really good. Pursuit. Really good, man. Really good. Okay, let's watch this again. Let's break it down. You made the tackle. Okay, so let's let's look at what you did right here on defense, right? First thing you're doing is you're coming off the ball and you are immediately looking back here. You're looking for the ball, which is exactly what you're supposed to do, okay? You would not have gone this way if you didn't see him get the ball, right? You see him and then you're like, oh, and then look at what you're doing. Using your hands and pushing him off of you, right? Look at your base. Wide legs, right? Leverage, right? And then you shed him and then pursuit, right? Pursuit to the ball, make the tackle. Excellent. Very, very well done. Very well done. That's what you're supposed to do, okay? Let's watch it in real time. Here you go. Shed, shed the block, come off the block, make tackle. Bam. All right, bud. That's the end of your uh, practice game tape video. I hope it helps you in some way. Big thing I'm noticing, this is the overall theme from today's video. Wide legs, lower your butt, chest and helmet. Wide legs, low butt, chest and helmet. Live by it, especially when you're on offense. Love you. Hope it helps. Bye.